to become a furrier, you know, in our business, somebody cannot teach you. You have to learn that. You know, they, they will show it to you, but they cannot, you know, like make your hand or they cannot, you know, you have to, you know, do it. this finger once it goes over there. It gotta go naturally. The minute, you know, they say that, you know, what they want, I all, it's already here, you know, I can see that. And I take their measurements, and once, you know, I have the measurements, I come to into my shop, and I draw, you know, on a paper, and then that pattern, you know, becomes a muslin. The muslin, it's very important to me, you know. I just cannot do anything, you know, without muslin. I spend maybe a day, but at the end, it saves me a lot of time, you know, to make me happy and make my customer happy. And then, you know, I come to my shop and I do the actual work. Sometimes it takes, you know, weeks, you know, to, to finish a coat, or months, you know. It's really skill. You need that, you know, patience. And then, you know, I call them for a fitting. We do the sleeve lengths, you know, mo most of the time, and, you know, hook and eye, and then, you know, the, the length. Those are the things that, you know, we do. And after that, you know, we do close the coats. Closing is also important. And then, you know, we put the linings. And then we finish the garment, you know, 100%. One of my cousins, he was in the fur business, and he asked me, you know, if I want to become a furrier. And he had doubled, you know, my salary. So I said, okay, why not? So that, that's how I started. And then, you know, little by little, they, they give you a little pieces, you know, to stitch. This is a unique material. Not many, you know, people can do, you know, what I do. And I'm very fortunate that, you know, I do have an experience that, you know, I can do this. The mentoring process is the, the process that, you know, like you learn over the, the time or it comes, you know, naturally. My mentor, his name was Tatios, and I have his machine here, you know, with me. That's what I did, you know, over the years. Just watch this guy. And he will tell me all the time, Supi, you're like my son to me. I'm so happy to, to have something that you know, belongs to him. Today, I'm making my living because of him and my cousins. You know, I'm very grateful you know, to them. I've been in this country 18 years, and I'm very proud to be here. I mean, I did come with nothing, and I have you know, this great you know, shop. I was successful because I did have the talent, and I did have the craftsmen. The artistry of it is to really think about making garments that are wearable, that look beautiful, and that's the artistry in contemporary fashion is to be able to do uh, amazing things with fur uh, in color, in form, and make them workable for uh, more people to wear. To me, I think it's a craft. Most people will see it as an art, but to us, you know, who create things, it's a craft. The relationship that I have with my customers is really personal. And we built, you know, this business, you know, from scratch. That's the relationship. There is other furriers that they're not around, but their name is around. My name will be on the labels and people will see this and they will remember always will say, you know, Supi first. You know, they might not know me, but they will know, you know, Supi first.